Just got here to our first boondockers welcome. Super excited. This is a five day stop, which is pretty cool, pretty unheard of to do five days in a row at a boondockers welcome. But uh, when we got here, uh, they asked if we needed a power cord. And right now we do because we just have the 12 volt lead acid battery that came with the trailer. Uh, we are looking to make an upgrade. So we just got to our first boondockers welcome. I'm super excited about this. Um, the spot that we're at is allowing us to be here for five days, which is really cool. They also have 15 amp hookup as well as water and sewer on site. Um, the, the sewer hookup we'll have to use the blue boy for, um, but it's nice having access to it here. Uh, so I am inside getting everything <laughs> rehooked up. We have these awesome little surge protector blocks that we put on all of our outlets. So it makes it super easy to just unplug one thing anytime we go to move the trailer. That way there's no surges um, of power that are going to our components when we unplug the trailer and plug it back in. So I will say it is super nice that we have an RV that does not have slides because when we get to a site, there's really not much to do because we don't have slides that need to go out. We don't leave anything out on our counters during um, our stays anyways. Uh, everything gets put away. So I am done in here setting up the trailer and uh, Jeremy, it sounds like, just finished up as well. So we're excited about this day. Don't good. forget the camera's right there. Good morning, good morning. We are in Black Betty, exploring around our Boondockers Welcome spot. We found an incredible Boondockers Welcome spot. It's right off of Interstate 44, right next to Texas and Oklahoma border. And it's absolutely incredible. They allow you to stay up to five days is what you're allowed to book. Yep. Super gracious and accommodating hosts. They've been RVing for a long time, so they have a lot of knowledge and a lot of um, experience. I feel like we're bouncing around. Like, this did not look like we're bouncing super bad. All right, let's try this again, see if this works better. So good morning. <laughs> we have uh, we're staying at a Boondockers Welcome off of I forty four, right by Texas and Oklahoma border. We are going to go exploring the area. We found a children's museum. It's a hands on museum. We're going to go check it out, and then we have to continue tomorrow to go truck shopping and try to find a truck. Yep, we need to find something that will pull the transcend safely and within the numbers because Black Betty does not. Uh, it'd be nice. We just gotta find a truck. But anyway, um, we're gonna have fun today. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We were actually, um, the Harvest Host uh, hosts were actually the ones who recommended that we check this place out. So. Um, they've got grandkids that are about the same age as our boys and uh, thought that we might enjoy it. So we figured we'd go ahead and see what it's all about. And if we see any trucks on the side of the road or for sale signs, we might stop and look at them. Because today is Sunday and we are in Texas and Oklahoma. And so a lot, all the dealerships are closed, as they should be. Yeah. So uh, we're going to look around and see what we see. Yep. Should be a fun adventure today. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so 
stopped for a Whataburger for lunch. What do you guys get at Whataburger? That shows how a windmill powered pump works. Did somebody answer you back? No. <laughs> Can you hear me? Alright guys, so we're sitting here at Boondockers Welcome and we just noticed a major problem with the trailer. The breakaway brake cable is running up here. Watch me yank it. It doesn't do anything because of the way they routed it. They routed it around and then down to here and it's pulling up. So, I'm going to pull it off of there and I'm going to put it in a proper location because it's pretty important that your emergency breakaway cable actually works if it needs to. So, we got that fixed. It's actually sitting right up here now and it's a straight line to the front. So, it's actually going to be functional now. We had such an awesome time at this Boondockers Welcome Spot. They were super gracious hosts. We ate meals with them often. Our boys were the same age as their grandkids. We're super excited about what comes next. We're headed to our first work camping spot, so hang on for that. We are on to the next adventure.